What's going on guys? Today we got our first regular season team of the week cards. And wow, football came back yesterday. That was a great, great day watching, just watching football. And we got some great players who had good performances. And let's get started with Marcus Mariota. This guy I know had a perfect passer rating and four touchdowns. Wow, th th that was insane for a rookie. I know he's going against the Bucks defense, but still a great performance by, you know, a rookie quarterback on his first start. And this card, wow, 89 speed, 92 throw short, 93 throw mid, and 83 throw deep, 93 throw power, 94 throw on the run, low play action, but whatever. 92 agility, 91 excel. Wow, this card, <laughs> it's good. Mariota, if there was any indication, he's going to have a really good career. Jameis Winston. Didn't really play that good. He was he was only going against a Titans defense. You know, nothing too special. Kind of weird. But Mariota definitely had a, like, a legendary performance yesterday, having a perfect passer rating. And a little fun fact is the last quarterback to have a perfect passer rating, their first start was RG3. So, got to take that with a grain of salt. Just one game. He, he can either... He, that doesn't make or break his career. Here we go. Josh Norman. The Panthers have a bad offense this year. They were struggling. And I remember this guy got a pick six. Wow. Like, that really changed the tide of the game. And he has 89 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility, 85 man, 96 zone, 80, 87 play work, and 94 press. This looks like my kind of corner, you know, high zone and high press. I don't really run a lot of man. I love corners who can press, you know, pretty fast too. 79 catch. Let's see if, it, if this guy has any block shed. 88 jump. I forgot. I think he's like 6 foot, four, uh, not that much block shed, but 6 foot, 89 jump. You know, could, you can do worse at corner. We have Tyler Eifert. Pretty sure this guy caught two touchdowns yesterday. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, nine receptions for 104 yards and two TDs. That, that's awesome. This guy finally broke out. I remember in 2013 draft, this guy was a highly regarded prospect. And he's finally playing like an 85 speed, 92 spec catch, 90 catch in traffic, 70 run block. You know, a little low route running, but you know, whatever. Low awareness too, but he's fast. 89 XL, 88 agility with 85 speed. And he also has, you know, the 90 catch in traffic. So a well-balanced receiver. I'm definitely not mind getting him if he wasn't going for that many coins. And next, Chris Ivory. This dude's an underrated little bowling ball. He's like a little budget, I don't know, compared to real life. He's like, you know, a poor man's Eddie Lacy. But this guy, 88 speed, 79 agility. Oh, that's ugly. But 97 carry, 97 truck, 75 elusiveness, 85 ball carry vision, 86 strength. Oh, he got, he got any spin move or anything? Most likely not, but... Ooh, 87 spin move is not bad for a guy this big. All right, that's... Oh, did that say 98 to farm too? I might have missed that, but... Chris Ivory, how good did he do? I know the Jets beat the Browns 31 to 10. Manziel threw one touchdown. Whatever, everyone everyone freaks out about that. Oh, 91 yards, two TDs on a pass for 10 yards. Honestly, Forte should have got a team of the week card, but he probably didn't because he already has an 85 base elite. All those guys that got those cards, I don't think they have cards over 80. Yeah, I, I might be wrong. I don't know. I think Ivory does an 80. Norman has an 80. Mario does a 76. Ivory, my, I'm not sure. I'm, I think might have an 80 something, but. Yeah, Forte is an 85, so the only way they could give to him was he was a hero. But how about the Bears yesterday? Forte had a great performance, you know, 141 yards. They got slept on. They're kind of, they can play like this year's Cowboys, if you ask me, you know, a strong run game. Keep that defense off the field. But yeah, right now we're looking for Aaron Donald. I'm kind of surprised I got the card. I thought Mariota was going to get it, or Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen will most likely be the football outsider hero, but I'm really surprised Mariota didn't get it. Because this guy, you know, he's a beast. He's probably going to have a lot more Team of the Week worthy cards in the year. So I thought they might, you know, wait on it. But how how good did he do? Nine tackles, three for loss, two sacks, four QB hits. Oh, I remember that. You know, overtime, he stuffed that run up the middle on Marshawn. <laughs> the Seahawks finally run it on a big fourth down. Or, like, you know, down a distance and they get stuffed. But this dude, oh, he's such a beast. He's gonna be, he's probably going to get the positional hero, if you ask me. But let's look at this card. It's going to be insane. 83 speed, 94 strength, 93 power move, 91 block shed, 90 tackle, 90 pursuit, 75 play rec. 77 awareness, 90 XL. That's oh, this guy's fast. 82 agility. That's Aaron Donald, one of the best, if not the best defensive tackle in the league right now. If you, off the top of my head, the best are you know Sue, Darius, and Donald. I think Donald might be the best, but you never know. And that's the video, guys. Um, leave any comments or thoughts you have about the NFL in the comment section down below. I would love to talk some NFL with you guys. Uh, leave a like if you could. Subscribe for more, more Madden 16 content and tips, and I will catch you guys on the next one.